Greetings folks, this video is a quick intro to these two little pieces of kit by uh, Toolkit RC sent to me by Hobby Porter. Initially when they contacted me and asked if I'd like to have a look at them, I said, well they look great but I've got too many products to review at the moment so I'll reluctantly say no. Uh, and they said, that's fine, we don't expect you to do a full review, uh, just use them if you like them, show them being used and include a link in the video. Um, so that impressed me. That uh, tells me they're a company that are confident of the quality of their product and they stand by them. So I thought, okay, that warranted a little bit more than just a, a passing mention. So I'll briefly show you what these two little piece of kit, pieces of kit are. I will use them in the future and show you how they're used once I work them out. So we've got a servo tester and a watt meter. Now with every single model I use, a servo tester and a watt meter. And this is what I use, this um, crappy little thing from Hobby King that's fallen apart. Uh, it does the job but I'm pretty sure it's not very accurate because uh, you can centre your servos using this and uh, just about every time I have to recenter it when I connect them up to my transmitter. Kind of does the job but they fall apart. This is my watt meter. This is the second watt meter I've had because the first one started giving me false readings um, and it's just an essential piece of kit if you're working out prop and motor combinations and, and <clears throat> which battery to use and that sort of stuff. So uh, if this is a better watt meter, then I'll start using it. I also have the little M6 Toolkit RC charger, which is just a brilliant little portable uh, battery charger. They make really good stuff. All right, so let's have a quick look. So this is the ST8 servo tester. They call it an eight channel servo tester. It is a rather nice looking unit. Sort of has the feel of quality about it. LCD screen has a little pop out knob on the side to operate and a selector knob in the middle there and an exit. Uh, these things use XT30 input and output. I just noticed XT30s are becoming very popular. Some of my models are turning up with XT, XT30 plugs, so I'm going to have to get a collection of them because uh, I don't have many of them lying around. So it has XT30 input, 7 to 28 volt input. Also has power output for uh, big high power servos that require external power rather than through your receiver. It has four individual servo outputs and four together and USB input for uh, firmware updates and uh, an S5 uh, for inputting PWM, PPM or SBUS so that you can check the function on the screen. Looks like a great piece of kit and when I work out how to use it I'll show you. You get a little bit of a user manual and a USB cable in there, but uh, the more complete user manual is downloadable from the Toolkit RC website. So that's the ST8 servo tester. And the watt meter, the WM150 watt meter. They're very well packed. There we go. So once again, we get the USB cable for firmware updates, little instruction manual. There's, uh, I think it might be the same one. Little instruction manual with not a lot on it, although watt meters are pretty simple anyway, uh, but there's another manual available on the website. Input and output that you can put your own plugs on. Once again, we have the little knob that pops out for selecting items. So I'll solder it up, see how it works and uh, show you a bit later on. So thanks very much to Hobby Porter. Uh, I'll put links in the description, check them out and we'll see them a bit later on if they're any good. No,